Hey fellow foodies, we're finally here in Pennsylvania. And even though it's well known for its cheesesteaks, Pennsylvania Dutch is also known for making scrapple. It might be intimidating for most because scrapple is originally made from leftover trimmings of pork, so as not to waste them. But in this video, I'll be using pork butt and ham hocks that are readily available in your local supermarkets. Feel free to use other cuts of pork. We start with one onion, three stalks of celery, three bay leaves, half a tablespoon of black pepper corns, and we want enough water to cover most of our meat. Then, we're going to bring it to a boil and then simmer on low. Then cook it for around two hours until your meat is fork tender. After two hours, we're going to take out our meat and then strain the vegetables, leaving the stock. With our meat, I'm using my food processor to give it a rough chop. Do not over grind your meat. Give it a few pulses. Then, we want to transfer our meat back in our stock. Then, we want to add in half a tablespoon of cayenne, half a tablespoon of sage, one four tablespoon of salt, and two teaspoons of black pepper. Then, give that a mix. Then, we're gonna add in another cup of water. Then, cook that on medium for another five minutes. Then, gradually add in two cups of cornmeal. Then, mix well so that there's no big lumps of cornmeal. The mixture will be slightly moist but not wet. Then, we're going to transfer that on a regular pan. I use two baking loaves for this recipe. Spread them out evenly on your pan and then let it sit on the counter to cool for an hour. Then, transfer to the freezer for another hour. Once frozen, it's easier to take it out and slice it into half-inch slices. And then, pan fry them on both sides until heated through. I wrap mine with parchment paper and put it in a Ziploc bag. Leave it in the freezer or inside the fridge if using the next day. If you're interested in making your own scrapple at home, give this recipe a try and let me know in the comments how you like it. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching!